A number of law enforcement officials who are searching for a 13-year-old Reedsburg boy, James Yoblonski, is now reduced, not because police are less optimistic, but because they believe he does not want to be found. Though the public isn't involved in the search, volunteers close to Baraboo and beyond still want to help. NBC 15's Marcus Arsvold learns why. Up until this point, the public has been asked not to help in the search, but that doesn't mean the community hasn't shown their support. I spoke with two organizations who sent volunteers out here to try to help people find James. It's thousands of acres that most people will never see. They'll never get more than a couple hundred yards, you know, into the woods or anything like that. So when you're actually walking through the bluffs and you're seeing the rocks and you're seeing how thick it is, it's tough sledding out there. Jacob Franson manages Sky High Fruit Farm in the Baraboo Bluffs. Since the public isn't supposed to search the rough terrain, his team figured they'd serve coffee and breakfast for those that can. When there is something going on, we all know the rough area where it is, and we all have idea who lives around there. So we just want to help out however we can. Volunteer veterinarian Becky Johnson also gave her free time to provide aid for the canine police dogs. They are dealing with unique situations, especially today, because the train is so rough and the days are warm and the days are long. Johnson says canines are crucial to finding missing people because they can smell what humans can't see. Her role is to help keep the dogs hydrated and healthy. Whether that be helping with cuts and scrapes or providing fluid support or even maybe referring them to larger veterinary facilities from around the area. She says it's an honor to help in any way she can to find James. So they're out searching all day. They're tracking um, and these dogs will go and go and go until they're exhausted. So that's why their canine handlers have to be very educated um, on how to take care of them, how to take signals from them, know when they're getting too tired, and then bring them in, and then we can care for them here. Law enforcement officers say the community support has been truly crucial. They've had two injuries during this search because the terrain is so rough and due to the heat, so it's extra helpful to have people supporting them. For now, in Baraboo, Marcus Arsvold, NBC 15 News. Now, the Sauk County Sheriff's Office confirms they found a second campsite with a jug of water, socks, and something that holds a knife that could belong to James. Having found more evidence suggesting the 13-year-old is trying to live as a survivalist in nature, police believe he is trying to evade their search efforts. Starting tomorrow, fewer officers will be out searching for the Reedsburg team. We feel like our added presence at this point could continue to just push him further and further away. And that's what we're taking into account with the, uh, the change that you may see behind me now with the lack of squads. Police believe James is alive and has access to food and water. As of now, they plan to continue the search through the weekend and into next week.